After a clear Shaheen Bagh link, another massive revelation in the suspected Kerala train terror attack case. Investigators have found some chilling clues in Shah Rukh Saifi's personal diary. Notes on Kufra or un-Islamic deeds. Words like Badkar or evil character. Maglub or defeated. Farikhin, which means a conversation between two people. Kori code cops who are grilling the attacker are trying to solve the riddle of his diary. The probe has shown that Shah Rukh was radicalized on YouTube. He had a channel also and handlers allegedly used the YouTube channel to get in touch with him, indoctrinating him and making him change his lifestyle. Once radicalized, Shah Rukh quit smoking and tried to discontinue what he thought was un-Islamic practices. Cops are also trying to solve the mystery of Shah Rukh's sudden and mysterious trip to Kerala. While one page of the diary listed down his day-to-day -day activities, another page had his YouTube logo as well as a line, let's do it. Did this YouTube channel have any role? Did anybody who wanted to radicalize him reach out to him through this YouTube channel's ID? Now those are one of the many questions the police has to deeply look into. Where he set three people on fire and hurt nine others inside the train, with no apparent provocation. Once uh, he is uh, medically examined and uh, the doctors confirm that, then we'll be start we'll start uh, questioning him. Whatever he uh, says, we have to verify and uh, tra trace his movements on the background and all that. Everything then we'll be able to establish what exactly the uh, uh, the uh, sections of uh, UAPA or other uh, will be involved. Shah Rukh's father, however, believes he's being framed. किस तरह से अब ये बता रहे हैं कि कोई टेरर इंजन है या किसी ट्रेन में या किसी ट्रेन में या किसी बाइक में क्या था आपको कौन इसको कोई लेके गया है इसको कोई लेके गया है ऐसा लगता है डिड रैडिकलाइज्ड शाहरुख सैफी स्टेज ऑफ लोन बोर्फ टेरर अटैक एंड आर देर मोर शाहरुख्स लर्किंग विच शिबी मोल इन तिरुवनंतपुरम ब let me now bring in India today's Akshita Nand Gopal, who joins us with more on the story. Akshita, what's the latest in the investigations? What have the police been able to glean so far? So the accused, Shah Rukh Saifi, has been moved, Gaurav, from Maharashtra to Kerala. He's been taken there by the Kori Code police. But right now, his interrogation hasn't begun yet because he's unwell, so his treatment is going on. Having said that, however, there are certain developments and big ones at that in the investigation. You've got a team of the Kerala police in the national capital in Shaheen Bagh. And when they, in fact, conducted searches at Shah Rukh's residence, they found handwritten notes. And in these notes, it's essentially a diary in which you can see that Shah Rukh daily habits, some of his uh, uh, you know, uh, daily routine changes are being made. There's a suspicion that he was radicalized, indoctrinated via YouTube. He has a YouTube channel called Shah Rukh Saifi Carpenter. And the suspicion is that handlers got in touch uh, to him through this YouTube channel. And then over the last few months, he was speaking to them, listening to them. He stopped some of his daily habits like smoking, was doing namaz more often. And there are certain other changes. And in the handwritten notes, there's also a message that says, let's do it. Now, all of this has been taken into consideration. Let's do it. What does that mean? Uh, what have police been able to gather so far? Are they seeking help of other agencies? Because what's the bigger picture that emerges from this Kerala train arson incident? Why did he attack these people? What's their link? What more have you been able to gather so far? So there is a question right now about what the larger picture really is. Uh, and if you look at what's really happened in Kori Code and what happened on board that express train, you had Shah Rukh Saifi working completely alone, at least in going ahead and perpetrating that attack. Okay. When he sprayed petrol, uh, injured uh, several people, three died, of course, when they jumped off the train in a panic, including a two-year-old infant. Yes. You compare this, Gaurav, to two other incidents that have happened just months ago, one in Coimbatore in Tamil Nadu and yes. the other in Mangalore. 
Mangaluru of Karnataka. Very similar lone wolf ISIS style attacks that happened in Coimbatore in October. You had a car uh, blowing up outside a temple, and this was during Diwali, uh, that you had this car going uh, up in flames. Uh, the accused was someone who was in the car, and the gas cylinders that he put inside the vehicle, which was reportedly supposed to go off later, went off while he was inside the car. That was one incident. The other was that of Mohammed Sharik yeah. in Mangaluru, which happened in November, barely a month later, where he was traveling in an auto carrying a cooker bomb with him that again went off uh, when he didn't expect it. He was injured, but he is currently in custody as well, being questioned. He was linked to Mubin. And there are questions now about whether Shahrukh Sefi is linked to both of them.